Hello there friends, I hope that you're doing well. So here we have a Volkswagen Polo 2003 and uh, you might experience the same issue, the, the mirror just coming off and uh, how exactly to, to put it back. Uh, this can work as well uh, for all the older Volkswagen cars like Golf because they they share the same system, they have the same mirror. So in my case, at one point I just uh, lightly hit uh, by accident the mirror and it just uh, came off. And I found out that it's pretty much impossible to put it back uh, on. So what I did was to remove the tension ring. So this is how it looks. This is the arm and this is the back of the mirror. You can completely ignore this button here as it's not related. Uh, so, as you can see, this is where this knob uh, will go. And around this plastic here, these small arms, uh, we have a tension ring which is made of uh, metal and that will just keep this, this part together and usually it's almost impossible to just uh, take the, the mirror off from here. In my case there is a crack here and I guess this is the reason why the, the mirror came off. Anyway, uh, if you have the ring on and you want to put it back like this, it will never work and it's extremely dangerous because while you press on the windshield there might be a chance that you can uh, you will break the the windshield here so that will be very expensive to to fix you'll need to replace the the whole the whole windshield so normally what you need to do is to remove the arm as well and that can be done by uh, grabbing the arm like this and you just twist it towards the door in my case I'm uh, it seems that I'm out of luck but this arm is like completely stuck and even if I apply tons of pressure to to turn it anti-clockwise uh, it will still remain here so I can't remove it why you need to remove it is that when you get it uh, you can just easily just press it with no uh, dangers of uh, damaging the windshield. So you just push it here and then you can just re, uh, reattach the, the whole arm with the mirror and also that tension ring. As you can see here, I removed the tension ring and in this case I can easily just insert it like this. With very light force uh, but there is a downside I can use the mirror like this but there is a downside and that is if the car stays in the Sun for uh, quite some time uh, this will move almost freely and on every bump road it will just go down and it's it's quite unsafe to drive like that to always have to readjust the the mirror you need to to not focus on the road and uh, adjust the mirror so uh, in this case I've explained you how it works how uh, it can be inserted as I said remove the whole system the arm by twisting it towards the door like uh, like this and then you can just insert the arm in the mirror and leave the tension ring you can also to to do it like I did uh, I can also just go and drive now it's uh, if you're uh, it's something urgent you can just take a screwdriver and remove that ring uh, the tension ring and you can just insert the mirror like I did now another option which can work in my case as I don't plan to to remove the arm and neither to leave the mirror like this is to get another mirror 
so I will remove this one uh, leave the arm but I will get another mirror that has the, those suction cups and you can just stick it on the windshield uh, just near the existing arm and that will also work uh, those are not very expensive you can probably find a good uh, mirror with suction cup like uh, for like uh, 12 15 dollars 20 depending on the quality and I guess those should work as well if you notice I've noticed those uh, mirrors uh, on cars that are used for driving schools usually the the passenger the the trainer will also have here a mirror like that so he can see what's going on on the back so I hope that you found the video useful uh, I cannot tell you exactly how to install it properly as I explain it's difficult uh, in this case I I just can't remove the arm but with the arm removed probably if you apply tons of force you can ins insert the mirror and the ring but if the mirror came off probably there is something wrong with it so you probably need to replace it as you see so in my case there is a crack normally this mirror should never came uh, should never come off by themselves usually they're very well uh, adjusted there so i hope that you found the video useful if you did please subscribe and thank you for watching